Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name is Ben and I'm really excited to be able to show you this new Lexmoto today. This is a new model for 2021. It's called the LSN. It's a 125cc single cylinder, the same as the rest of the range, but this is a real step up uh, in build quality and features uh, for Lexmoto. They're almost stepping into Japanese territory. So I'm gonna show you around the bike and I'm gonna try and show you some of the features that they've added that I think are really, really good value for money and why this is a great alternative to things like the MT125 from Yamaha and Honda's CB125R. So let's start at the front. <clears throat> so we've got radially mounted four pop brakes, 310 millimeter discs and ABS. Um, all are standard with this really nice wavy disc. Just a single disc. The mag wheels look really, really cool on this. We've got upside down forks as well, a standard, which is a really, really nice feature. So as we pan up, you can see some of the design influences definitely come from Yamaha and their MT range. This huge vent on the side with the LSN logo looks really, really cool. Just underneath, you'll see that there's a cover over the rad, uh, which is a really, really nice touch. And also you can see that there's some standard crash bars as well. They come with a bike um, from new, which again is a really nice feature. So the engine is a single cylinder 125cc as you'd expect but this is actually based on the Aprilia RS4 125 engine so a lot of you will be familiar it's a great engine obviously this is Euro 5 so you can see there's a fairly hefty cat under there but it's been finished with this really cool um, chrome finish or stainless finisher to should say uh, twin exit pipe so it looks really really nice and the tubular frame is very kind of KTMS so there's lots of design influences that are clearly coming from other models no uh, aftermarket exhaust yet that I'm aware of, but it does look like the bike has been prepped so that we can put a side slung exhaust on there um, just to sort of bring out some of the sound. And as you can see, there's a massive rear disc on this, absolutely enormous, um, and ABS as well, as you can imagine. So really, really nice. On the back end, you've got these big, um, they're, they're matte finish, but uh, they're number board. So you could add your own number to personalize that if you wanted to. Obviously you've got the standard uh, tail tidy and just some nice little design features around like the, uh, the grab handle. So you've got this little um, mock vent underneath there, uh, really nice leverette seat. Just the quality of those bike is, is just another step forward for Lexmoto. And it's really, really exciting that they're going in this direction. The overall finish of the bike is matte, um, but it's a really nice finish. And then you get these kind of gun metal um, embossed Lexmoto logos. And yeah, just the overall finish of the bike is very nice. Little touches like, you know, the, uh, the see-through brake reservoir, just really nice little features. When you look at the front end, it reminds me a little bit of a Kawasaki Z1000, I have to say, but again, it's not a bad looking bike by any stretch. Comes with the standard Lexmoto two-year warranty, which is very, very good. And here at the Bike Century, we do offer warranty repairs, servicing and everything like that on Lexmotos. They're fully supported here, the whole range. So again, on this side, you can see the, uh, the standard crash bungs, uh, which are just here, which are a really nice feature, particularly on a naked bike. Um, and also you can see the uh, rear sprocket is absolutely massive. And that's because this bike is geared for acceleration, but also it's geared to do 70 miles an hour. So you'll be able to keep up with traffic, no problem once the bike's run in. <clears throat> so as we come up to the cockpit, those of you who are familiar with Yamaha will immediately notice the dash and the switch gear. Um, I'm not saying they're from Yamaha, but they certainly look very much like they are, they are from Yamaha. And the dash is very, very nice. The switch gear and everything, all the components are of a really nice quality. And then you've got this little unit here, which is a Bluetooth unit. And I'll show you that and how that works in just a second. But let's get the uh, ignition on so you can see the dash. So it's a really nice start up mode there. So you've obviously got your revs and your speed left and right. You've got a digital speed here. Your gear indicator here which is great if it's your first bike and you're just learning obviously you've got your fuel gauge here and then all of the rest of the relevant information here so really really nice display that so this little bad boy is uh for bluetooth so you can pair your phone to this and you can play your music youtube uh your sat nav all the rest of it comes through speakers that are built in the bike and when we first got this bike i was a little bit skeptical myself but actually the quality of the sound is very very good i mean you're not going to hear your sat nav through your helmet anyway because of the sound of the bike the wind noise and stuff like that but it's a cool little feature if you're parking up with your friends of a night time that sort of thing very very cool the bike also comes with this really nice 
a little USB stick. So you can put your music on it, plug it into the USB port provided at the back of the bike under the seat, and you can play your music off that as well. So if I just switch her on, so there you can see it's gone into Bluetooth mode. And now it's ready literally for me to play music. Unfortunately, I'm filming on my phone, so I can't actually put any music through it. But um, but yeah, I'll do a separate video of what that actually sounds like later. But very, very cool feature in my opinion. And oh, there you go. So we've got DAB radio on there as well. So I think it's a really cool feature. The speakers on it are very, very good considering they're on a motorbike and they're designed to get wet. Very, very cool feature. Let's give the bike a start up so you can hear it. Sounds pretty cool. I think eventually most people will probably choose to transition the exhaust uh, to a side slung, but it does look very, very cool. I think you'll agree. So one last thing to show you is the under seat. Obviously it comes with a toolkit. This will be a bit cat candid. So there you go. Under the seat, you've got a little USB port here and that's where you would dock your USB with all your music on it so you can play that either on the go or when you stop with your mates. I think that's a really cool little feature. So the price point is a little bit more than Lex Moto would traditionally go for. It's 3799 plus the on the road. But when you compare this and the features in this to a new MT125 or to the Honda CB125R, we're still a lot, lot cheaper with a two-year warranty. So if you're interested in the bike, you've got any questions, we do provide uh, delivery if it's something that you want at a cost. Um, we can provide finance and part exchange. Got any questions at all, please feel free to give us a shout. We're on WhatsApp, Facebook. We've got live chat on our website and on Auto Trader. Or you can pop into the showroom, have a look, sit on the bike, have a chat and a coffee, that sort of stuff. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.